in the last couple of weeks, a lot has been going on, honestly, in the last year. You know me mostly from my content, and I did want to share a bit more per request about my private life, and everything is going on outside of me creating valuable content. Some of the things that you might not know. I've been working as a manager for a global company. I'm a speaker and consultant in inclusive branding. I am a content creator, and I'm also an author writing on my first book. And over the past few months, I've been remembering this quote saying, you don't know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory and that's honestly just how I feel sometimes working non-stop and not really going back and thinking I should have documented my journey do you ever have that feeling when you go through a moment and you feel I should be more present and then afterwards you regret that you weren't that's why we're here so some of you told me that you love seeing the content that I come up with but you would love to see the journey behind the content and honestly for me I would love to actually look at old content just old ways of working and remembering that time and thinking I came a long way so I decided to share more I'm going to share more vlogs how I do things and also the vlog will be a testament of how I do things they're not going to be conventional vlogs I'm not going to be that person that you see just crawling out of bed for obvious reasons I'm also not going to hold up my vlog with music so you're mostly going to hear voiceovers and just ambience ambient sounds that happen while I do things reason for this is because I know a lot of my audience doesn't like to listen to music and I don't want to create content that you feel uncomfortable Watching. This is a space of learning and growing together and just experiencing life. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be a beautiful journey. So I've decided to create one vlog a week until further notice, until I run out of ideas. Please let me know in the comments below if you have anything that you'd love to see, a day in life, how I create my content. Leave it down below so I can already come up with some ideas. You're here in my first ever vlog. This is spring 2022 and we're going on the first trip, my husband and I, for a long time to Langkawi, Malaysia. Langkawi is basically an island in Malaysia very close to Thailand and we did actually plan to just come to Kuala Lumpur at work and be here for a while but quarantine restrictions actually tell you to quarantine for 10 days in Langkawi so that's what we're gonna do let's get back to the vlog and our journey there for the first day ten hours later it was actually more like 18 but you get the drift we actually had an overlay in column for a whole night because we had to get tested and stay in a hotel couldn't leave the hotel or the airport but then we got onto the flight the next morning Honestly, those palm trees just make me feel home. In case you didn't know, I actually spent four years of my life living and working in Malaysia. So Malaysia is kind of my second home. The flight from Kuala Lumpur to Langkawi actually just took like 20 minutes. And it was such a beautiful view, looking at the water and slowly arriving at the airport. One of the things that I love when I'm in Malaysia is just seeing the signs and written in Malay. As soon as you arrive on the island, the beautiful thing is you can see mosques everywhere and palm trees and nature. Just the perfect way to get acquainted to this new place. Just got into this place and it's closed until 5 p.m. Problem is, we're here at 11 a.m. and we haven't gotten our room yet. So they can't serve us anything officially, but inshallah. They brought us fresh sauce and water, very fresh and hungry. We actually spent like two to three hours napping at the beach because our room wasn't ready and we arrived way too early but the fresh water and the croissants just made everything better.
then we got to our room with this amazing buses that go around the entire island and that's basically how you drive across the resort After two days of traveling, we were just super tired, so we couldn't do anything else than enjoying the view from our room. The mixture between ocean and jungle was just so beautiful, subhanAllah. We basically just chilled in the sun for a while, looked outside our window, and did nothing. Literally nothing. Then we went for a walk and the cutest thing is everywhere you look, no matter where you look, you see small monkeys just hopping around all the different terraces and houses. The only thing we had energy for after two days of traveling was dinner. So we went to a restaurant at the end of this pier where we spent the night just looking at the water and having dinner. <laughs> 